Hey, this is Neil, and today I'm going to show you how you can supercharge your AI agents by giving them powerful tools that you can easily build yourself inside of Relevance AI and Make.com. In my last video, I showed you how I made a personal assistant agent from scratch using a few existing tools. This time, I'm going to build a Facebook posting tool completely from scratch so you can see how it's done. So a quick recap on what we built last time. We have a personal assistant agent who I speak to via Telegram and he can communicate with me via Telegram. Uh, and then he had two sub-agents, an email agent, which used these inbuilt relevance AI tools to get, send emails and get the current date. And then this IG posting agent who only had one tool and that was just given a, that was using a make scenario that I built in a other previous video on how to do a specific type of posting to an Instagram account. And then the, uh, the next setup that we're going to improve upon is uh, by adding in this new social media agent and we're going to make and give it two tools. One is an image generation tool which uses the latest Flux model so it makes an API call and generates an image based on a prompt and the post to Facebook tool which is going to call a make scenario which will do the posting to Facebook because it's easier to, to do that within Make than it is relevant because otherwise you'd have to use um, the Facebook's API rather than the inbuilt Make module, which makes things much easier. So these are just two tools, uh, which is like the starting blocks of how you would have a fully fledged social media agent. Obviously, once you've done this, you'd then do the same you did for Facebook and you'd create a post Instagram tool, a post to Pinterest tool, post to Twitter tool, um, and you could also give it a video creation tool to sit alongside the image generation one. So you could then post you know, shorts to TikTok and YouTube shorts and Instagram reels and that kind of stuff. So first off, let's, let's do a quick demo. Uh, I'm going to use voice commands and ask my personal assistant agent to make me an image and post it on Facebook. Um, so I'll just pick something random. Uh, Hey there, could you please make me an image of four cats playing in the garden in fancy dress and then make a Facebook post about it, commenting on how ridiculous they all look? Yes, I know I always do cat related prompts, but that's because my demo Instagram and Facebook accounts are uh, cat related, so it just seems uh, sensible. Um, but the, the last Instagram posting tool I did was specific to uh, a, a cat type setup, but with this you could you could do you could generate an image of anything and and a front of a, a, a caption of anything and it it would it would work just as well. So this should take maybe twenty seconds in total, and in the background it's it's working so it's delegated. Uh, delegate to social media agent. It's first using the image generation tool. It's getting that back. And then it's using the post to Facebook tool and it is sending the image URL that it got back from this and it is sending a, a caption that it's coming up with based on the guidance from our input. There we go. Okay, so I've created the image of four cuts playing the garden in fancy dress and posted it to Facebook with the caption. Let's have a look. They do look ridiculous, don't they? There's a pirate one there. Okay, so that's uh, that's what it does. And now let's get into how we make it. Okay, so first let's build the tool in Relevance AI. So we'll create a blank tool from scratch. Um, we don't need any knowledge for this. We just need two different inputs. So we need a text input, and that's got the title of that is going to be uh, post content and then we need a file to URL and we'll do a post image. So these are two inputs it needs. And then all we need to do is because we're, this this tool is actually going to run all the heavy lifting will be done in make. Um, we just need a single API call a post and then that's going to call a webhook in Make to run the scenario. 
So on that note, let's go to make. We're in a new blank scenario here, and we'll start with a webhook. Just do a custom webhook, create a webhook, and we'll call it demo Facebook post. And we copy the address to the clipboard, and we go back here, and we uh, put it in there, and then we need to add some URL parameters to this. So we want the text to be the text from the input, and we want the image to be the file URL. So those are the two variables we want to pass through uh, to the make.com scenario. So now what we're going to do is if we, I'll just move my head, if we run this once, so it's waiting to receive information, we'll then go and uh, run this tool. Oh, I need to put some examples in. So uh, look at these. And then I need to get a post image. So I'll just find something. One sec. Okay, I've just added a random photo, obviously, of some cats from the previous uh, generation I was doing. So now we run this tool. And then Make has successfully received that information. So you can see it's. Uh, it's come through and it's passed through the text and the image URL. So now what we can do is we make a get a Facebook module, Facebook pages, create a post, and then we're going to pass through the message will be the text and the link will be the image. So then we'll we'll run that again because I want to get the outputs from uh, from Facebook pages. Um, let's run that again. And that's success and it gives back the post ID. So then what we want to do is, because we don't just want a post ID, that's of, of no real meaning to us, we want to get a post. And then we just do get a post ID from here. And then I'll just copy this and I'm going to run this once with that information. Now it passes back. Oh, no, it won't. Interesting. One second. Okay, for whatever reason, I just didn't like it when I put in the post ID manually, so I just ran the whole scenario again and it worked fine. So now we get back all this information on the post, and what we really want is the permalink ID. So we want to send the that URL, sorry, permalink URL. We want to send that back to our relevance. So we should do a webhook response. Status 200, which means success, uh, and the body, we're just going to pass through the permalink URL. And that is that is done. So we did save this, and we can just turn it on. So this will now, whenever that webhook fires, it will run the scenario, it will make a post, to the page, get the information back, and send it back as a response. So let's just do this one more time. You can see the output here was, uh, tool output was accepted. So if we just do this one more time, you see that it comes back with now is the URL of the post. So there we go. So then we just give this tool a name. and save it. And then we are 
good to use it. This next tool, I'm just going to walk you through quickly rather than build it from scratch, because it's the same kind of principles, just using a different API. Um, and we're not using make for this, we're just going to the API directly. Um, so this is create flux image from vague description. So obviously when I call my assistant, I say, please make me a post with like four cats doing this. But that's not necessarily the ideal prompt to give to flux directly. Um, you, you want a more nuanced prompt with more descriptions and stuff. So we are using knowledge for this. What I did was, um, if you look at this knowledge base, um, I just uploaded a single PDF. I just Googled like flux, how to prompt flux guide and it just all this stuff in here so it it has this it, it can use this knowledge um we can use this knowledge in this uh in this setup here um and then we have like a use a vague description um to put this in um so that's like if i said you know please make a make me an image with 18 candles on a birthday cake for a cat We've got two steps here. We've got an LLM, which is um, using GBT 4.0 to, what we want to do is turn that into a useful prompt for Flux. So your export, export image prompt crafter for a model called Flux, here's a guide and it inserts the knowledge there. Using this, come up with an excellent prompt for Flux, which will create a realistic image based on this description and it inputs this there. And then a few more things just about only return the prompt, don't give me anything else. And then it makes that um, it makes a call to replicate, um, which is a site. So replicate allows you to run a bunch of models um, via API. So this is um, using the Flux 1.1 Pro. It's quite expensive, but it does produce very good images, uh, as you can see here. Um, you can get all the all the API info from here, uh, and then it's just a case of making a call to that and putting in the prompt here from the previous step. Um, so yeah, so we can, we'll just run that quickly to show you how it works. So first step is transforming my vague description into a good prompt. And then it's inserting that prompt into, well then, so we'll look at this prompt. So super realistic image of a birthday cake tonight for a cat, etc. Uh, you know that's that's the right kind of thing you want to be prompting, and not just a simple sentence, right? And tool output, we can see this is the image we've got. Happy birthday, whiskers! Lovely stuff. Okay, that is quite good. So that's how that tool works. So then you create a new agent we need an agent to give these tools to so it can perform tasks so you can see from this setup that we want to delegate tasks like these to the social media agent uh, and then it can use these tools and eventually others to do the tasks uh, so um i should run through this quickly it's it's very similar to the other agent setups uh, you're a social media expert who creates and uploads posts on facebook first thing is you have to give them the tools so we add give them these two tools uh, make sure you set them to auto run so they don't ask you for permission every time and then it's just the core instructions so I spent a bit of time writing this out it's it's all just real like common sense stuff so you just explain again what what the what the agent is is there to do what's their objective you know how do they do it and then the tools and sub agents they have access to so you just explain you're gonna get a message um, you want to use this tool firstly to create an image and then you're going to use this second tool to post that image to Facebook along with a uh, caption that, you, that they should come up with based on the based on the request. Um, as a quick example here, so like if I say please generate an image of five cats in a field then make a Facebook post about it with a caption talking about how cute they are. So you, you'll first do this, then do this and then reply to the request saying you've made the post and here's the link. And then the tools down here, you just explain exactly what they do. Um, and here's an give example submission to the post to Facebook. So it always puts the text as there and the image in there. So that's that. Um, okay, so now I'm just gonna run through a quick demonstration of that one more time uh, on 
the telegram and I'll run through it here so I'll expand all the steps so we can see exactly what's happening in the background. So let's say I'll, I'll do something non-cat related for change. How about dogs? Uh, hey, can you please make me an image of eight dogs fighting in a boxing ring over a, the world's biggest bone? Then post it to Facebook uh, and ask for comments about it, who you think is going to win. As I hope you can tell, these are not pre-planned prompts. That was very much freestyle. Um, so if we come back here, you can see that's my that's my request. So it's performed a test in the background, uh, sorry, a task in the background. So it's delegated it to Neil's social media agent. So it says create an image of eight dogs and it's passing that on. And then the social media agent is using the create flux from vague description tool. So that's running now. And then, so again, that is running the tool, which is, uh, first of all, creating the final prompt and then using the final prompt uh, to send a request to the Flux API. And it looks like we've had a reply. There you go, I've created the image of eight dogs. Okay, drum roll please for this. Wow, that is quite something. Who do you think, going to, who do you think is going to win this epic showdown? Well, my mind's on this guy. <laughs> Don't know about you. Okay. So that's that. Just a, again, another simple example of how all this stuff works and can piece together. Obviously, like I say, you then you saw how quick it was to build the Facebook posting tool. Do that again for all these other ones. Um, and you can expand it, as I say, by uh, adding in a video creation tool. Perhaps you build a very complex scenario in Make, which takes a Canva template and generates images and puts it in there and does all that stuff and then creates a, a video from a template and then it can post it to TikTok or whatever. Um, and then, you know, from there you, you keep building more agents that have more skills. And the beauty of all this is that you're building all these tools and you can get, you can then, you might, you might be able to reuse these tools for different different agents. Like these tools are effectively uh, they they recreate. If you had a bunch of employees, what general things do they have to do? Obviously, they've got to send emails, they've got to read emails, they've got to make calendar appointments, they've got to post to Facebook, they've got to post to LinkedIn, they've got to write blog posts, they've got to even call people, which we I will get to in the next video or two. Um, but you're just creating a bunch of skills or abilities that you can give to to people who follow your instructions. That's kind of the essence of agents and how and how they work. I do appreciate everyone who's been watching and subscribing. Um, and I'm glad to see people are starting to get as excited about AI agents as I am. Um, I'm really going to double down on creating more and more agent content. Uh, and build out this assistant agent more. Um, but there's also, so the, these are all me speaking to an assistant and actively asking it to do something. But there's another scenario, which is you want agents to run 24 seven and react to things. So you can set different triggers. So when an email comes in, do this, categorize it, tell me if it's, if it's, if it's a cold email, get rid of it. If it requires a response, send me a Slack message so I can action it. Um, when a lead comes in through your website form, uh, you qualify the lead, like research it on, research the company on LinkedIn, um, find, find the, uh, how many Instagram followers it has. If you're, if you're selling social media software, for instance, and then if it's a qualified lead, send them a meeting request, or you could even hook up a AI voice system to give them a call and ask them to book into a meeting which is I was playing around with uh, earlier this week and it's very cool. So I'm going to be doing a video on that very soon. Um, if there's anything else people want to see, let me know. I'm happy to build pretty much anything that, that looks cool.